Hello and welcome to Tech Cubicle on SAP. In this video, I'm going to explain to you three, three simple things you can do right now to reduce your HANA database size. Let's go. How do we measure the size of a HANA database? A HANA database can be measured in two ways. One, by the size of the persistent storage and hard disk. Okay, we know it's no longer really using hard disk, it's normally SSD nowadays, but I can still call it hard disk. The hard disk is used for storing the data volumes and the transaction log segment volumes. Two, by the amount of memory or RAM that it consumes when the HANA database is online and loaded. The memory is consumed by the data plus the required working areas for the HANA database to manage the data and also serve the queries that are posed to the database about the data. What can we reduce, RAM consumption or hard disk storage? We can actually reduce both of those things and they have different benefits, which I will go through. Action one, reduce the size of row store tables. Okay, this one deserves a little more explanation before it makes sense. A HANA database is primarily designed as a columnar database. I say primarily because it actually does both columnar and traditional row based. Tables categorized as column oriented tables are stored in the column store memory area and each column of a column store table can be loaded into memory on demand. Tables categorized as row oriented are stored in the row store memory area and the entire table has to be loaded into memory to access one row, which means they are loaded into memory on database startup and remain in memory. By simply finding and removing rows of data from these row store tables, we can free up memory for use elsewhere by the database. Generally in SAP NetWeaver and SAP s hana systems, row store tables are technically logging tables, which means they contain data that has a limited use and limited lifetime. These are perfect for deletion in a timely and frequent manner through housekeeping routines. How do we reduce the size of these row store tables? The method used depends on the table, but generally in SAP NetWeaver or SAP S4HANA, some form of housekeeping report will exist to clean up old data in commonly known row store tables. You can see SAP note 2388483 for details. The link is in the description down below. That leaves us a question though. Why have row store tables at all? Well, this is a technical issue with a compromise on the design of HANA. For efficient use with columnar tables, HANA needs to operate a write buffer, which stores any table changes before they can be successfully merged and compressed back into the columnar format. This creates an overhead. The overhead is excessive if the table being written to is purely a logging table, i.e. only receiving new rows and not receiving any changes to existing rows. To avoid this overhead, a row store table can be used which accepts these new rows directly and does not need the subsequent merge. The performance compromise is that the row store table consumes memory from the point of HANA database startup. Action two, run the data volume reclamation. Peaks and troughs of data volume occur in systems. A large amount of activity can generate a lot of technical logging data in those famous row store tables, especially spool related tables. Eventually, the housekeeping catches up and the unnecessary data is removed, but the space consumption of the data volume does not shrink back by itself. Instead, it will now be bigger until you reclaim that space. But why reclaim that space? One answer is that the disk space is consumed and will be also consuming backup space when backing up the server, especially if it is a virtual machine. Of course, there are some ways to avoid this depending on your VM hosting platform. Another answer is that for some non-critical, non-production systems, the HANA data and log volumes are on the same file system. By letting the data volume have excessive allocation, it can leave less capacity for the log volume. I've seen plenty of instances where a HANA administrator has not realized this issue and requested more disk space where it was just not needed. How can we reclaim the space? We can use SQL commands to reclaim the data volume space, or we can also do this directly in the HANA cockpit. There is another way, and that is HANA 2 SPS 6 revision 63 and above, which is out of support, so HANA SPS 7. We can enable automatic data volume reclaim. See SAP note 3198269 for more details. Action 3. Run the log volume reclamation. Peaks and troughs of transactional volume throughput occur in systems, and so do problems. I've seen a number of problems impacting HANA databases over the years, and one frequent one is transaction log backups. 
Generally, this has been from third-party tool failure or some such issue, which prevents timely HANA database transaction log backups. When this happens, the HANA transaction log volume relies on its free disk space to allow the database to continue operating. Eventually, the problem with the tool is fixed. HANA transaction log backups resume, and the system returns to a normal state. But the space consumption of the transaction log volume does not shrink back by itself. Instead, it will now be bigger until you reclaim that space. How can we reclaim this space? We can use SQL commands to reclaim the log volume space, or we can also do this directly in the HANA cockpit. As of HANA 2 SPS 6 revision 62, which is out of maintenance, so it's HANA 2 SPS 7 now, we can use parameter log disk usage reclaim threshold, and that will configure the automatic reclamation of log segments. That's it, three simple things that you can do now to reduce the size of your HANA database. In summary, HANA hosts both row store and column store tables with row store tables always consuming memory from the point of database startup. Reducing the volume of data in row store tables will reduce overall memory consumption of the HANA database. Running log segment reclaim or enabling automatic log segment reclaim if you're running HANA 2, SPS 7 and above can reduce hard disk space consumption. Running data volume reclaim or enabling automatic data volume reclaim if you're running HANA 2, SPS 7 and above can reduce hard disk space consumption. As always, reference links are in the description down below. Drop me a comment, give the video a thumbs up and most importantly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and always wash your hands after leaving the cubicle. Bye bye.